It's common practice to take the output of your modular and run it into your digital audio workstation or into a mixer and then external effects. Reverb in particular sounds nice on a modular synth, something very dense or nice and shimmering. However, several manufacturers make effects units as modules that you can include as part of your system. And once you have that, well, now you've got voltage control and you can start playing around with making it part of your performance. We're going to start with the phase shifter, an effect that was very popular from the earliest days of modular synthesis. But first, let me describe this patch. I have oscillators tuned at one octave intervals, set to square waves, mixed into the input of a low-pass filter, very little resonance, a little bit of fast envelope, changing its cutoff frequency. That's going into our VCA with a bit longer decay and release, and currently that's going straight to our audio. And I have the gate from our keyboard triggering both of the envelopes. Let's reroute the audio into the phase shifter. It's out, run into our audio output chain, and turn up the mix amount to include full blending of the phase shifter. What a phase shifter does is it moves the waveform of the audio forward and backward and mixes that in with the original signal. As a result, different harmonics of that wave cancel each other out, creating a sort of comb filter effect. I have the resonance really cranked up so you can hear the effect. I can back that off to something more subtle or I'll keep it up for demonstration right now. And whenever you use a phase shifter, you're almost always going to need to really tune in where the shift frequency is so that you really get the sweet spot of your notes. For example, if I had this up high, you don't hear it so much. If I bring it down, so it's really sweeping through those notes, it's a lot more obvious. The phase shifter, in this case, has its own LFO just driving our modulation. I can leave it at a static comb filter and dial in that comb filter frequency. But I like it better when it's moving. Now again, if I was to change the pitch range of the notes coming into it, I might want to retune the phase shifter. I'll go up an octave. into a sweet spot there, go up another octave. And get just the amount of effect that I like. Maybe for the higher pitch, a little faster modulation. Now, since your phase shifter is a module, you do have some control voltage options. For example, if I wasn't happy with the LFO built into this, I could use, say, an envelope generator or even a separate LFO. So I'm going to hijack the modulation amount and instead take my other LFO. It has a much larger range, so I'm getting a much wider sweep of the frequency. I can dial it all the way down. dial in its range to my taste. Again, change this frequency flag. Pick a crazy waveform like a sawtooth. Or a square wave even. Let's drive it even faster. I do have other options to voltage control the phase shifter and also the LFO driving the phase shifter. I'm going to go back down and pitch. In this case, I'm going to use the mod wheel on our MIDI controller to control some of the parameters in our modular synthesizer. The mod wheel is sent out as MIDI messages. It comes into our MIDI interface and appears on the CC, Continuous Controller Output Voltage Jack. I'm going to connect that voltage, for starters, to the frequency of our LFO. Now our mod wheel is voltage controlling the rate of our LFO, and the LFO is driving our phase shifter. I'm going to do really rapid phase shifting, or perform it. So individual notes get more accent, or I can reduce and build tension. I 
could use the same control to control our wet-dry mix. Turn down the initial mount to all dry. This should be a more subtle use of the mod wheel as I change how much it's mixed in. or I could use it to directly control the sweep of the phase shifter itself. I'll disconnect our LFO from it, plug our mod wheel out to it, increase the depth, increase the mix back to full wet. You hear right now it's stable at a certain frequency. I could even dial that in. Now, the mod wheel has direct control over the tuning of the phase cancellation in the phase shifter. I can, in essence, become my own LFO, timing my movements to measures in the arpeggio, or I can just go ahead and perform it, articulate in visual notes. So, another lovely thing about modular synthesizers is that you can use voltages to control many different parameters and turn it into a performance instrument.